our new Keurig that can make lattes. Um, we got this on Black Friday because our other one died and we absolutely love it. I have yet to make a latte, but my husband has made one and they're really good. creamer for a few months now and it's my favorite non-dairy creamer that I have found I've tried so many I've tried that nut those nut pod is that what they're called anyway I've tried a lot of different creamers and this is the best tasting one that I have found um, and I love coffee so creamer like is a big deal to do a um, full day of eating video for you guys on a long tough training day for my ultra I'm running my next ultra marathon on March 7th 2020 um, it is in cool California it's a 50k so um, I am training for that right now so I thought it'd be fun to do a full day eating show you guys what I eat um, on a training day um, so anyways this morning I made couple pieces of toast one has just butter on it the other one has peanut butter and banana um, I use the Dave's um, seed bread um, I love Dave's bread it's really good filling it's got lots of it's got more protein lots of fiber keeps you full um, and digest slowly so I'm gonna eat this this morning on my way to my trail it's about 45 minutes away um, it's up at my husband's work. They have like 400 acres. He's a vineyard manager and lots of awesome trails and tons of inclines. So I'm going up there to run today. I'm doing two 10 mile loops um, and I'm going to focus on um, the inclines today. I'm going to focus on trying to run not run but um, stay in a jog up most of the inclines. Um, try to push myself and see kind of um, I'm working on my form when I'm running up hills and um, pacing myself up hills um, shortening my stride been watching a lot of videos and doing research on how to run up hills and up inclines on trails so I'm going to kind of practice what I've been learning and focus on that today um, and my goal is to do these this 20 mile under four hours um, under four hours, last time I did this, these two loops, I did it right at about four hours. So I'm going to see if I can do it a little faster today and see where, if I've improved in my training. So anyway, I'm going to take you guys along with me today. I'm going to eat breakfast and then I always bring a little, let me show you, always bring my little protein shake for after um, my run, especially when I'm traveling for a uh, training run. I bring a little protein to have after my run on my way home and then I'll make a more decent lunch after I get home with real foods. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the trails.
out run and talk up this hill anyway so i am uh, almost four miles in uh feeling good the the wind is on and off it's uh good temperature it's close to 50 and pretty beautiful day for a run long run so i'll probably be stripping my jacket off here shortly and uh still in the warm-up phase uh, my legs are still feeling you know a little cold so but they'll warm up and we'll get rolling here but it's a perfect day to be out here gorgeous we are climbing this is a very <laughs> big incline we're climbing the top of this mountain i ran about half of it and then i was done so Okay, I'm gonna show you my pack real quick. Hello, so I wanted to show you my new S-Lab Salomon running pack. It has my, uh, ugh, water flask and here I have one with electrolytes, one with just water. And so far, I absolutely love this pack. If you're looking for a new pack, highly recommend the Salomon S-Lab. They have a, I think a few different colors, gray, black, blue. I have the blue one. Um, and it's just so comfortable. It's so lightweight, tons of storage pockets. Um, anyway, I give it five stars. I love it. Um, can't wait to use it in my race. Okay, we're hitting the top of this hill, so I'm gonna start running. I'll catch you guys in a few. <laughs> I'm going to eat that. Uh, the house that is up here, I usually stop and get water at. There's no water. So I'm hoping I can make it without running out of water. Uh, hopefully I can find some water somewhere. Anyway, that's the dilemma, but we're gonna figure it out and <clears throat> keep moving forward. So anyway, I'll check you guys in a few. We have my uh, Justin's vanilla almond butter uh, pouch, so it's really cold. So I'm going to try to warm this up and eat this. It's 200 calories. Uh, 90 sodium, 6 sugar, do 5 or 5 protein. Um, so not a lot of carbs in this, 10 grams. Uh, but I'm just feeling like having something more, uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not feeling the carbs, I want some, some fat. So anyways, gonna eat this and keep moving. Um, the, it's so frustrating because it's like cold, hot, cold, hot. I keep taking my jacket, putting it on, taking it on, blah, blah, blah. and it's, I hate when that happens, when the wind stops and you get hot, the wind picks up, you're cold, the clouds move, you're hot. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Okay, bye. All right, we're climbing. I'm on my second loop, 11 miles in, nine more to go. Um, I'm a little low in energy, so I'm going to this vanilla hammer gel 
love the Hammer Nutrition Gels. They do not upset my stomach at all. Flavors are awesome. I'm the type of person who can't eat a lot of gels. I just can't do a ton of sweets. So one or two throughout a long run is about all I can take. So I'm gonna pop one of these in. That might make, uh, get me through the rest of this run. If not, I have a granola bar that I will eat also. All right, we're powering through. I'm try to do a little running up this. Okay, bye. <laughs> finished 20 miles these loops are insane I feel like this run is harder than my last ultra as far as the inclines um, and then it was muddy and windy and a little rainy which is great because um, if you're able to train in that if that happens on race day you're prepared so anyway we are gonna head home and um, I'm going to stop at a place and get one of my favorite coffees it's kind of a tradition after a long run like that um, a tradition that I just now um, created today. So I'll probably have, I'm not hungry right now, but I'm going to try to drink this um, within the next probably 20 minutes. Sip on that. And then I was really bummed because I noticed my legs started burning a lot quicker than they usually do. Um, that lactic acid buildup. And I usually take my BCAAs before I run like this, but... Um, I forgot helps um, your muscles not get that burn so quickly and it helps with um, endurance and all that so I was bummed I forgot to one more thing I did end up eating and I forgot to record it hold on this trail bar it's called Tahoe trail bar peanut butter chocolate plant based it's got a 260 calories, 10 fat, uh, 40 carbs. It's pretty much like a meal, meal bar. I didn't eat, quite eat all of it. I might eat the rest of this on the way home also. Sorry, <clears throat> breathing in all that cold air for four hours. <sighs> My lungs are burning. So, probably gonna finish that. Anyway, okay, I'll catch you guys in a few. Hi, can I get a medium vanilla latte with almond milk? Um, hot cheese. With almond milk? Yes, please. Okay, would that be all? Uh, yes. salmon tonight um, we've decided um, it's a great post long run recovery dinner we just got out of Safeway and I got something for my sale I got some salmon sorry I didn't want to film in there it was so crowded and busy and I I already hate people who don't aren't paying attention to what they're doing so I don't want to be one of those people anyways I got some sushi you guys sushi is my life we have no sushi places around here like none Safeway this grocery store is like the only place that has sushi I got like a California roll thing and I will probably eat half of this 
and then um, I'll probably give some to the hubby. And so it says that for this whole thing, it's 610 calories. So if I eat half, it's like about 300 calories. So it'll be a nice little light lunch since it's by the time I get home, it's going to be like three o'clock. So it'll be kind of close to dinner. I don't want to eat a huge lunch and ruin my supper. But I got some dairy free ice cream that I might have tonight. I got some cookie dough and some mint chip of the mint chip. Got the hubby some dairy ice cream. Ice cream party tonight. Yeah, we like them. So, we haven't been here for weeks. Yeah. Ooh, we're at the pool. Ooh. Okay. It's hot tub time. In a minute. Oh, I cannot wait to go in there. <laughs> All right, we just got done swimming. We had to stop by the store and get a few things. Um, I feel like I'm always recording in my car because I pretty much live in my car. So that's how it goes. Um, we got some raspberries and some blueberries for us, me and the girls. So we're going to nibble on these and the girls got some trail mix. Um, I might have a little bit of that. Not sure yet. We'll see. I want to save some room for our yummy dinner daddy's making right now. Um, so we have to stop by our restaurant, drop some stuff off, and then we're going to head home and eat dinner. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to be home and not doing anything. So, anyway, yeah. All right, we'll see you guys later.